Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Bob Smith from Smith Taekwondo and Pro Sport Kickboxing. And uh, they're finally starting the murder trial for a little Korean thug by the name of Daehan Moon. Uh, he was just a criminal loser, um, drug dealer, and the um, guy was already out on firearms violations. And why is that? It's because the Attorney General here in the People's Republic of Hawaii will not do his job. The guy had been arrested a couple of weeks earlier uh, trying to evade the police officers and um, in the commission of using a gun in a crime. But uh, he felt it was okay to shoot an innocent young man in the back of the head. And he says that he hit the guy. Isn't that always the case? Oops, I hit him and my gun went off. Well, I had a couple of things to say there. One, if you're in possession of a firearm, you need to train with it. It's just like anything else. You don't run with sharp objects. Uh, you don't drink and drive. And you don't just have a gun around just because you can have one. If you do, you're just a freaking idiot. But, um... His excuse is his friend that was with him, they were trying to sell some drugs, and his friend was getting into a fight with the victim's friend. Gee, I wonder who his friend was. Nobody's identified him. And there is surveillance footage all throughout the parking structure at Alamoana Mall. There is video surveillance everywhere. So I wonder why they haven't released who it is yet. That's neither here or there. Uh, Dehan Moon says that somehow he got himself involved by uh, hitting the guy in the back of the head with his pistol. And conveniently, the muzzle turned directly towards the guy's head as he was hitting him. Not sideways, but directly towards his head. And the gun just accidentally went off. Well, I'm here to tell you that doesn't happen. I've been an expert witness a few times in court over incidents like this, and either the stupidity of the defense or the prosecution, where they just have no clue what they're talking about. But um, it's really upsetting that there are so many people like this in Hawaii, this young generation, millennial generation, Generation Z, whatever, that they have this sick sense of entitlement where they don't even care. You know, uh, the fact that there are people putting up video cameras in their homes now, one, that's great, but two, really doesn't matter because these guys are so uh, bold and embrazen that they, uh, they don't care. They'll look right at the cameras, let you see it, and they'll just continue doing the crime because they know that they're only gonna get a slap on the wrist from the powers that be here in the People's Republic of Hawaii. They know that they won't be punished, and a bunch of you guys are blaming the cops. This isn't on the cops. The cops are doing everything that they can. This is on uh, Hawaii's uh, legislature, their lawmakers, and the Attorney General. You know, the guys who are constantly screaming about Donald Trump because he wants to put away gang members, that guy, and they're all screaming about him and they're protesting and they want him impeached. And then you have cowards like Brian Schatz, Maisie Hirono, and Colleen Hanabusa. And then uh, our uh, our, uh, our own little cult member, uh, Tulsi Gabbard. And they refuse to address the problems. And then you have guys like Ching in office. And he will not put these guys away. Now, I don't care if it's your next door neighbor or a family member or somebody pass, just passing you in the street. If they're committing a crime, they need to be put away, period. There, there needs to be a strict message sent out to all these punks in Hawaii. And you know, there's these other, uh, even if they're not committing crimes, they're friends with these guys who are, and that's okay with them. You know, they're cool about it. Um, and they're respected for it. How does that happen? I see this in the MMA world here in Hawaii. 
the mixed martial arts world and, and kickboxing. And these guys are friends with these guys. I don't get it. I don't understand where the loyalty comes from for someone who has no respect for human life. That's not any martial arts lesson that I've ever learned.